Right now, negotiations are still ongoing. In fact, we know in about two hours from now, plenty of teachers and students will be at several elementary schools throughout the city for the Jump Start program going on all week long. Now, we know they'll head into their classrooms this morning. However, that may not be the case on the first day of school if the teachers union and the school district can't reach some sort of agreement. Now, we know the teachers union gave itself a soft deadline of yesterday to reach a deal. It appears the contract, well, it's still up in the air. This comes less than a year after the union negotiated a one year deal with a 10 and a half percent increase. But teachers say there's room for more. Here they have a surplus. And so um, when they again say that the sky is falling, that the, the, the they're, they don't have any money, it's very hard to believe that. The Seattle Education Association argues its top and mid-level teachers are paid less than other neighboring districts. Here's the response from the Seattle district. Any increase must be balanced with spending within our means. 85% of our budget is dedicated to salaries and staff benefits. Both SPS and the SEA want competitive salaries for all of our staff. The union believes the district, which just approved its largest operating budget ever, is not accurately projecting revenues. However, the union still has five days until its hard deadline to reach a deal. Meanwhile, the first day of school is September 4th. This is something we will continue to stay on top of. Just stick with us right here. For now, we are live in Seattle this morning. King Britt Moore, King 5 News. Yeah, we'll be watching that carefully. Mm -hmm. There's a lot at stake here. Just less than two weeks to go. Thanks, Britt.